what up what up hey it's toby d and you already know what it is it is pound for pound look y'all uh i've been doing a lot of film work on the atlanta falcons offense man um since the season has ended and you know how when you're going over certain things that you're looking for um to put out and doing these videos or whatever you run across other things that jog your mind man like i told y'all uh, one of the things that I feel I'm gifted at, man, is is showcasing a lot of things that I recall watching over the years, whether it's from Julio Jones, um, Roddy White, Matt Ryan, anybody on the Atlanta Falcons team. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, number 18, Mr. Calvin Ridley. Y'all, this man is primed and ready to lead this Falcons offense in 2020. Now, I know we got the COVID-19 going on, and uh, unfortunately, we're losing a lot of people, man, especially, um, you know, a lot of senior citizens dying from this thing. And now even younger folks um, contracting this virus, man. And, you know, football season is, is in doubt right now. We don't know we're going to have a season. But I'm going to tell you, man, I'm going to talk about the Atlanta Falcons until Roger Goodell say we are not having a season this year. So you can look for more videos, especially videos looking at clips of some of our favorite Atlanta Falcons players. For me, it's been on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know if you guys have noticed the trend that JR and myself have had where he's been doing a lot on the defensive side of the ball, and I've been doing a lot on the offensive side of the ball, with the exception of the one special teams video that I put out. But, man, I'm excited about Calvin Ridley in 2020. Guys, man, you got to give Julio Jones a lot of credit. Him and Matt Ryan have done a masterful job since the day that Calvin Ridley was drafted back in 2018, really preparing Ridley to take the big, big step in year three of his career. You guys have seen videos with him out there um, still sharpening his skills, running his routes, even working with Cam Newton. Um, Cam Newton cracking jokes about, since he's from Auburn, now he don't work with guys from Alabama. Um, but Calvin Ridley was putting in that work. Him and Muhammad Sanu helping Cam Newton stay sharp after getting released from the Carolina Panthers. And you even saw Calvin Ridley at his own home or whatnot um, working out and still doing his thing because he's preparing to really take this thing to the next level. Look, I don't think a lot of guys understand that Calvin really has not started in a lot of games since being in the NFL. Um, one, because Muhammad Sanu um, was one of the guys that the Falcons were relying on to be in this offense since 2016 when we signed Muhammad Sanu. Um, Calvin really only has 15 starts. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 15 starts in two seasons. And you all know as well as I know, it's 16 games in a season. Last year in 2019, Calvin Ridley, because the removal of Muhammad Sanu, and looking at his development, they had to let Muhammad Sanu go. Um, started 10 games last season. Now, he missed a couple like he did in 2018, whether it was due to an ankle injury that put him on IR in 2018 or an abdominal strain, which put him on IR in 2019. But this guy has an opportunity now to start 16 whole games. Now, we didn't draft DJ Moore, and you know the Carolina Panthers took DJ Moore two picks before Calvin Ridley at 24 in 2018. Now, you look at these guys' numbers. DJ Moore has had 10 more starts. He started 25 games. That's 10 more starts than Calvin Ridley in his career. Yet, Calvin Ridley is still putting up excellent numbers. 17 touchdowns in two seasons, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is proven to be a touchdown machine. I'm going to show some clips, man. Um, you guys remember in 2011, Julio Jones stormed on the season, man, and had a great season for the Atlanta Falcons. Missed a couple of games or so himself with hamstring issues early on in his career. But a catch came to mind when I watched Calvin Ridley in week two against the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm sure you guys remember the one where Matt Ryan threw it to Calvin Ridley 
and he high pointed it, splitting two defenders to catch the ball for a TD grab, hitting the ground. Think about this for a second. Julio Jones does a very similar play in 2011, and I was actually blessed to be at that game against the Tampa Bay Bucks. It was the last game of the season, um, a game that was deciding the Atlanta Falcons whether they were going to be the fifth seed or the sixth seed going into the 2011 playoffs. And Julio Jones makes a similar grab. Now, the difference is right here, Julio Jones possesses, and we all know more of the physical aspects um, that Calvin Ridley does not possess. But I like how they've taken a lot of these routes and have adjusted him to Calvin Ridley, where he's able to have success doing some of the same things that Julio Jones has done in his career, but taking lesser of an impact of the hits that Julio Jones welcomes because he has that 210 to 20 pound frame and he's 6'3. So Julio Jones is able to do a lot more things physically than Calvin Ridley as far as his routes go and how he's going to get into the end zone. But I thought about that play of Julio Jones where he high pointed the ball, spitting two defenders, getting up off the ground and running in for a touchdown, dragging at least one or two guys with him for the touchdown when he got there. Man, think about the play in 2012. I got at least two plays from Julio Jones where he's getting some deep grabs from Matt Ryan, hitting him on the dime. You think about the play in 2012 when we played against the Philadelphia Eagles, and this is when they had Namdi Asawa. Julio Jones goes out on a fly route, catches that ball, and takes it in to the house for a touchdown. You come back in 2018, Calvin Ridley's rookie year. Guess what? Calvin Ridley does the same thing, this time on the right side of the field versus the New Orleans Saints. Catches the ball, goes for 75 yards. The play total was 75 yards for Matt Ryan dropping it on the dime to Calvin Ridley. Another play with Julio Jones catching another deep ball uh, from Matt Ryan in 2012 versus the Dallas Cowboys. You watch this clip that I just put up and saw Julio Jones catch that ball. Now, he didn't get the touchdown, but he grabbed it over the top from over the top of Matt Ryan to catch that football. You come back in 2019. Guess what? You see Mr. Calvin Ridley do the same thing um, against the Carolina Panthers in 2019. Y'all see where I'm going with this? They've done a great job at helping Calvin Ridley be able to do a lot of the things that Julio Jones has done. Julio Jones has taken his brother from Alabama, and he's prepped this guy to be a lead man on this offense in 2019, being able to run plays and routes such as Julio Jones, running routes such as Roddy White, even from the toe tapping that Julio Jones has been very popular with being able to do. You saw the game, uh, Julio Jones in 2012 against the Washington Redskins, a similar play that Matt Ryan did with Calvin Ridley in 2019 against the Texans, where Matt Ryan rolls out to the right, hits Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley catches the ball in the end zone and toe taps before he goes out of bounds. And Julio Jones does the same thing in 2012 against the Washington Redskins in the end zone. I mean, just watching the things that Calvin Ridley has already been able to grasp from Julio and Matt Ryan, what Matt Ryan likes to do, the type of routes he likes to throw, and being able to take all of this and going into his third season. Ladies and gentlemen, this is scary. Watching someone like Calvin Ridley do what Calvin Ridley is doing, and he is right on target for where the Atlanta Falcons would like for him to be. And we know Julio is not going to be the lead man forever. So there has to be a time where there's a change in the guard, and we saw that even though Roddy White was still playing at a high point in his career when Julio came, 2012 was truly Julio Jones' year to do his thing. And I'm believing that 2020 is going to be the same thing for Calvin Ridley with some of the things that Calvin is able to now do that he's been able to take 
and incorporate in his game from Julio Jones. I'm excited about him, man. I just wanted to throw this video out here as you still will probably see some clips coming up and the things that he likes to do. One of the things that Calvin Ridley loves the most are these deep crossing routes. And we saw him have a lot of success with that in 2019, especially against the Carolina Panthers. And you see a clip of that coming up. Now imagine adding Hayden Hurst in the mix, who now is able to also run those deep crossing routes, which he had success with in college, and now gets to be in an offense that can truly utilize his skills the way that he deserves them to be used. And guys, we could have us potentially three 1,000-yard receivers in our offense in 2020 if Dirk Cutter does what Dirk Cutter needs to do to call an explosive offense for 2020. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I got, man. Look, y'all tell me how excited y'all are about Calvin Ridley number 18. I know y'all excited about the New Jerseys. I'm definitely going to be getting me a number 18 Calvin Ridley. So y'all be looking out for that. Um, continue to like and share and comment on these videos, man, and hit the notification button if you have not done so, so that you can get all the alerts when JR and I are putting these videos out. Hey, I'm Toby D, pound for pound ATL. Peace. I'm out.